Next, full wave rectifier. In previous session, we learned how the off wave rectifier works. The output of or the efficiency of the off wave rectifier is just 40.6 percentage. You are given the 100 percentage of input current, but you are getting only 40.6 percentage. The output efficiency is too low, so I am going to improvise the output voltage. For the purpose of increasing the output voltage, now I am going to use full wave rectifier. Now we will see how the full wave rectifier works. First, the circuit consists of a transformer and the diodes of D1 and then D2. It is connected through the output or load resistance RL. In this circuit, the transformer's center tap C is also used. The center tap is going to connect it with the ground. Always center tap as has a zero potential. So in this case, in this rectifier, we will use a center tap. Right. First, I am going to allow the input voltage, that is alternative voltage, like a sine wave. We know very well in alternative current there are two off cycles. One is positive off cycles and then another one is negative off cycles. The transformers allows only the alternative current. The output of the alternative current we will discuss by the two off cycles. The first output from the transformer let me see only the positive off cycle. So M carries the positive potential. With respect to the central tap, it is always connected to the ground, that is a zero potential. With respect to the ground, the point of M carries the positive, so the D1 diode gets positive potential at the P semiconductor. And then N type semiconductor carries a negative potential. If the G gets a negative potential means that is N also having the negative potential. So P type getting negative and then N type getting positive potential. In this case, the current does not flow through the diode because the D2 diode has the reverse biased. Only the D1 getting the forward bias. So FB of D1. The current flows through, through the direction of M D1 A G C. This is a closed path. The loop has been created. So the current flows for the first during positive off cycle. D1 diode gets a forward bias. So the flow of current in the direction of M D1 A and G C. In the first, that is a positive off cycle, D1 gets a forward bias, D2 gets a reverse bias, so the current flows through only the D1 diodes. The current flows in the direction of M D1 A G C. So the output is like in the form of first of positive off cycle. And then next, the second off cycle of the given input AC is Derived from the transformer, here the negative potential is developed in, at the point of M with respect to the G. So G carries the positive potential now. So when the G carries the positive potential means N carries the positive potential. Am I right? So the D2 diode gets a positive potential of P type semiconductor here plus and then N type semiconductor gets a negative potential. In a similar manner, at the point of M gets a negative potential, so D1 diode of P type semiconductor gets a minus and then N type semiconductor gets a positive potential. So now in this time, D1 diode act as a reverse bias because the P type getting the negative and the N type getting the positive potential. The current does not flow through the D1. N gets a positive potential, so D2 diodes of P type semiconductor getting positive and then N type getting negative potential. This will be act as a forward bias. So the current flows through the diode D2. 
so during the negative during the negative off cycle during the negative off cycle d2 gets forward bias d1 gets reverse bias am i right yes so <coughs> the current flows through the d2 diode so now i am going to indicate the current directions n d2 and then b g c the current flows through the diode d2 in the form of n d2 b g c so the second that is the negative off cycle produces the current also when the d2 current flows through the current so it's getting like this negative off cycle the input current is continuously cycling so every time the transformer giving the output to the pn junction diode the current is varying like in the form of like this so first half of the cycle that is a positive off cycle d1 gets forward bias second half of the cycle d2 gets a forward bias repeatedly this this matter will be happening so the output diagram is like in the form of input diagram <coughs> so the efficiency of the full wave rectifier is nearly 81.6 percent is compared to earlier it is very much higher than the off wave rectifier so this is the working structure of full wave rectifier <coughs>